Hi there, Simon from DeepNode here. Uh, I just want to do a quick video on our new feature that we just released. Uh, and it basically allows you to uh, use SQL to query CSV files and um, data frame variables. So let's see how it works. Um, a new, uh, there's going to be a new item for any CSV file in the context menu uh, called query with SQL. And if, uh, if I click that, I get a new SQL cell that has this special data frame SQL um, type. And it basically allows you to, to uh, run uh, a SQL query where in the front clause, instead of a, like a database table, you can use uh, the path to a CSV file. Um, so if I execute this, uh, it actually works. This loads the CSV table from this file and selects everything. Um, of course, I can use any SQL syntax like where to filter. Uh, this this table so let's let's say we want to filter by this average rating column so I'll just do where every rating is over four uh, so that I can only get books uh, with at least four star average rating and if I run that now my set is reduced and yeah so this supports the full SQL syntax you could even join um, multiple CSV files uh, using the join clause uh, and stuff like that uh, all right and uh, Another cool thing about this data frame SQL feature is that it doesn't only work with um, with CSV files, but it works uh, directly with uh, existing data frame variables. So, for example, this table, the one that's already filtered by this WHERE clause, is saved to the DF underscore one variable. Um, so, if I if I add a new SQL cell, yeah, it's the the type data frame SQL. Um, in the from clause, I can actually just put directly df underscore one, and it's going to reference this filter table. And let's say we want to add a group by, and I'm going to group by language code, and we want to know how many books there are per language code. So I'll just do select language code and count uh, everything in that group. Let's run it. Yeah, and you can see. Um, this is the result of the group by that is already has been filtered by average rating over four. And the great thing about this, I can, you know, I can continue and chain these uh, however I want or even join these. So whatever, uh, whatever you're used to with SQL. Yeah, um, that's it. Thanks for watching.